Hello, I'm Joanna Szymonek and I represent Polish Institute for Human Rights and Business. Today, from Krakow, on the first day of July 2020, I'd like to share with you information on how COVID-19 affected the working conditions in electronic industry in Poland. Of course, not all companies were affected in the same way and not all of them had to reduce the production and employment. However, we have three main conclusions. Firstly, as in other countries, the situation of this particular factory depends on the situation in the supply chain and in the sector. For instance, one of the factories operating in automotive sector supply chain that was affected strongly by the COVID-19 crisis had to downsize through production and employment. Secondly, in all companies from which we received feedback, all the workers, regardless nationality, have been provided with all necessary equipment to perform work safely, such as clothes, masks, etc., whereas administrative staff perform work remotely from home. Last but not least, in all companies from which we receive feedback, all measures and solutions were introduced upon consultation with trade unions and, in the case of companies affected strongly by COVID-19 crisis, an official agreement for the period of three months was concluded between trade unions and employer. And this agreement seems to balance the social and economic interests of social partners. And at this stage, collected cases indicate that real and constructive dialogue can facilitate the change that companies are undergoing, a difficult change. But let me stress, a dialogue, not a managerial announcement of changes. For more details on specific examples of measures applied by the companies, please see our supplementary information. Thank you for listening.